We started our penultimate day in Iceland with a brisk walk around the breathtaking Kraffler before heading to our next stop, which is one of the most interesting and unearthly places we've ever been. Welcome to Hivir um, Geothermal Area. The smell really hits you as you, as you get out of the car. <laughs> This is the time when Matt actually wants to wear a face mask. Yeah, I might I might take it into my own hands and put on a face mask <laughs> for COVID and sulfur dioxide reasons. <laughs> so this place is made up of a lot of these marbling Mobbling. Mobbling. <laughs> so this place, Hyver, I think, um, is made up mostly of these mud balls and shrivels, which are these kind of cracks and sort of crevices in the in the ground, which emit the sulfur hydroxide gases, which we know and love. <sighs> this place has a really sort of weird, wonderful look about it. It sort of reminds me of when I was at school. And we're asked to imagine what a planet looks like. I sort of imagine it's how Mars or something might look like with all the steaming pools, the different colours of the soil. It's a really interesting place. <laughs> Where's Laurie go? I'm here. So we've walked our way through the main sort of site of the geothermal area, but we can see if we can break away from the crowds and just see if we can find our way up to the top of this mountain here for some slightly better views. Laurie's having some doubts over the authenticity of this route. I just think, is this like a a, a lie on Google. I mean, there's no, no one else has done the trail. The trail isn't that well defined. Oh, it is well. Look, you can see it clearly. Goes that way, up, around here, and then zigzag back up to the top. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> if we get lost, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your, where's your sense we'll of balance? We'll have to stabilise that shot because I've tripped over a rock. <laughs> We're getting there, slowly. It's a short but very steep hike. And it's a bit muddy as well and it's raining. So, <laughs> footing's become a little bit less secure. We had to make a quick turnaround from when we got to the top of the viewing platform because it started to rain. And it's still raining. And it's still raining, so we got back to the car because it was quite muddy and it was getting a little bit sketchy in places, so... It was quite a steep, it was quite a steep path, so mm. a bit of rain and it got a bit slippery. Yeah. As we work our way around the last bit of Iceland for our trip, we have decided to stop off at Godafoss, which is one of many waterfalls again. However, the weather now has really took a turn for the worse. It's really, really horrendous rain. So we're going to have a little walk around, but very briefly, and then come back to the car before I start our long drive. So to be honest, the weather has actually been pretty good for us uh, over the last seven days in Iceland, but today it's just took an absolute turn for the worst and it's been absolutely miserable. So neither of us really wanted to get out of the car for this stop, but it's probably our last waterfall of the trip, so we couldn't really say no. This is 
is our last Icelandic waterfall. Makes me sad. I think there's another waterfall. It's quite impressive to see when it's raining actually because the power behind it, which I don't think you'd really get on a sunny day. seen what we needed to see. Now back to the car. <laughs>